Next, we're going to go ahead and graph the lines ourselves. So in the box up here on the top, it says steps for solving a system of linear equations using the graphing method. Step one, you are going to write each equation in slope-intercept form. If you don't remember, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Remember that m is our slope and b is our y-intercept. Step two, graph both equations in the same coordinate plane and label each line. Step three, estimate the coordinates of the point of intersection. And finally, you're going to check the coordinates algebraically by substituting into each equation of the linear system to make sure the point that you chose works. So if we take a look at example three, we have two lines, y equals 5 over 4x plus 4, and y equals negative 1 half x minus 3. And what we want to do is we want to graph both of those lines separately. So let's start with the first line. If we look at y equals 5 over 4x plus 4, we need to know the slope of that line. And remember the slope of that line, m is the number in front of the x, and that's 5 over 4. And that tells us that we are going up 5 and right 4 to graph it quickly. And then we need our y-intercept. Our y-intercept is 4. So that's going to be the point 0, 4. So to graph it, I'm going to graph my y-intercept at 0, 4. And then I use my slope. So from there, I go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And to the right, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I get the point 4, 9. And I want to graph as many points as I can for here. So I also need to remember that even if I go up and to the right, I can do the complete opposite and go down and to the left. So I'm going to come back to my y-intercept. And now I'm going to go down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And left 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 giving me the point negative 4, negative 1. Okay, so negative 4, negative 1 is right there. And then I can do it again. I can go down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And to the left 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, giving me the point negative 8, negative 6. Then you're going to want to use a straight edge to draw on your line so you can get it as straight as possible. I will do the best I can here. But the straighter your line, the more accurate it is, and the easier it's going to be to find those points of intersection. Next, we're going to graph the next line, y equals negative 1 half x minus 3. So looking at the slope, the slope for this line is negative 1 half. That tells us we're going to go down 1 and to the right 2. Or doing the complete opposite, we could go up 1 and to the left 2. Our y-intercept, where we start at, is negative 3. So that's the point 0, negative 3. And that's your constant that you're getting from your equation. So let's start by graphing that point 0, negative 3. And then I want to draw in as many points as I can. So since I want to go down 1 and to the right 2, that's going to be in this direction. So I'll down 1, right 2. And I can make as many points as I want to get my line more accurate. As you look, I'm kind of going away from that purple line. I want to go towards the purple line to look for that intersection. So I'm going to come back to my y-intercept, and I'm going to go the other direction. I'm going to go up 1 and to the left 2. You can see that we've intersected right here at that point where the red and the purple line match. So I'm going to draw in my line for my red graph, again, as straight as I can. And what I'm looking for for my answer is I'm looking for that point of intersection. I'm looking for this point right here. And that's the point negative 4, negative 1. So I know my answer is the ordered pair negative 4, negative 1. And then what we want to do is we want to check. So to check our answer to make sure we graphed it right and that everything works, we need to plug in our x value and our y value into both of these equations to make sure they work. So if I check the first equation, remember y is negative 1 and x is negative 4. So I would get negative 1 equal to 5 over 4. So I'm just rewriting it. I plug negative 1 in for y. I have 5 over 4. Now I'm multiplying it by x. In x I have negative 4. And then plus 4. Replacing this. And if you need to, I would just plug this in your calculator. Take this right-hand side, 
plug it in your calculator and make sure you get negative 1. You could also do it in your head. So 5 over 4 times negative 4 is going to give us negative 5 plus 4, and negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. So since it's equal on both sides, we know that it works for the first equation. But just because it works for the first equation does not mean it's going to work for the second equation. So we have to now check that second equation to make sure it works for both of them. So now I'm going to plug into this bottom equation, starting with my y value, which is negative 1, equal to negative 1 half, times the x value we found, which was negative 4, and then minus 3. Now again, if you want to do it, save yourself some time, you could just plug this right-hand side into your calculator to make sure you get negative 1. Or again, if you want to do it by hand, you can. Negative 1 half times negative 4 is going to give us 2 minus 3, and 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So since they are the same, we know that it works for the second line. You must prove that it works for both lines. So that check step, you must plug the x and the y values into the correct spots and make sure that both sides are equal for both equations. Now we can say this for sure is our answer since it works for both. If you have questions, let me know.